Hi, we're here at the Jam Bay booth with Daniel Berkman, a multi-instrumentalist and drummer who's going to demo this product for us. The Jam Bay is a really, really cool 10-zone uh, pad that uh, has some unique features we haven't seen elsewhere, and we're going to find out about it. So, uh, Daniel, tell me a little bit about uh, about the Jam Bay. Well, the Jam is a it's a basic drum controller for iPad. And like you said, it has 10 um, high, um, high sensi high, uh, very sensitive um, drum heads. And uh, again, we have uh, a thousand levels of sensitivity. So it's really expressive, um, very responsive, and very musical. And, uh, we, and we have also some, some really um, high quality samples as well. So Now you've got uh, high quality samples that come with it. And uh, these kits are all st stored on the iPad. They're all stored on the software that, that comes that comes with the drum, yeah, on the iPad. I noticed that you have kits like uh, complete percussion kits, and then you also have things like an Afuche kit that has 10 different sounds that uh, that you can work with. Are there any favorites that you have among what's uh, available right now? Yeah, I'm uh, really digging the, the drum kit. Um, I've been using it a lot here at NAMM, and I'm um, finding it's very expressive, very useful. And, uh, and the, the sounds again are just so realistic. Why don't we uh, Why don't we plug directly into your uh, sound signal here and, and get you playing for a while? Ready. We're with Mark Bain, who is a co-founder at Sensor Point of this uh, unique instrument, the John Bay, and I want to get Mark to uh, talk about uh, exactly what's going on, how it works, and uh, what makes uh, the sound so remarkable. Thanks. Uh, yes, the John Bay has got FSR technology on it. Um, we have a bunch of sensors on the bottom, 10 of them on the John Bay itself. We measure a thousand different sensor levels on it, so it's very, uh, to detect the artist's pressures and their playing. We send that information to the iPad, we process it um, with DSPs, and we know exactly what they're doing and what they're going to do next. So we modulate and change the sounds accordingly. So it gives them a more accurate representation of how an artist is playing a drum. Now, yeah, that's one of the things about this is really the the uh, sensitivity, the the responsiveness to volume changes, to force changes, and so forth. Um, uh, it, it was that was that? What was your original thinking when when you got involved in the development? Um, our original thinking was trying to see how much information we needed to actually represent a player playing the drum. And we knew that MIDI, of course, is an older standard, but it's very limited. So we basically started from scratch and said, okay, if they were playing an FSR uh, drum, how many levels do you need? How often do you need to check those levels? Things like that. So we did, you know, we worked on this for two and a half years to get it the right play, the right feel, right number of levels on the drum. And I think we've nailed it. So one, one really interesting um, 
aspect is the interface on the on the iPad or because uh, it, it's dirt simple, very you know really easy. To, you switch kits, you don't dig through menus. Right, that was very important to us to have the iOS as a front end because the I, people are used to iOS now to be able to hit a kit, you know, touch a kit, download a kit, move kits around, move sounds around, move pads around. So it was very much in the core of the hardware design, uh, excuse me, the software design to make sure that it was as easy to use as anything that Apple would produce. And since John and I have both worked with Apple uh, in past previous projects, we know exactly what their thinking is like. So we had adopted that for our application, just so pe the drummers can just play and not to worry about drivers and other technical issues. Do you do you do you have to plug it in, or, or can you t just take it portable with a an iPad and go play? Um, yes, you can actually have the iPad power the drum, which means um, you can take the iPad, the djembe pair of headphones, sticks if you want, and just go out into the woods, go out into a hill somewhere and play, and the John Bay's powered by the iPad itself. So you truly are just can be disappear somewhere and have a, a wide variety of kits and instruments to play. What's it going to cost a person right now to get a John Bay? Well, we're having a Kickstarter in March, and the street price is $5.99 as we're targeting. Um, we're we think that's a good price point for that, and we suggest people look out for the Kickstarter, go to our website, and we'll keep everybody updated on how that goes. And again, that's in March of 2015 is when the Kickstarter will start. Good. That sounds like a good starting point because this is a uh, incredibly fun but a professional quality instrument. Yes, that's exactly the goal we wanted to do. We wanted an instrument that's made in the U.S. That's that any drum drummer can grab and say, "Oh my God, I'm familiar with this. It's a drum." And just not even think about the electronics or the technology, and just go on the go off into the world. Well, thank you, Mark.